right. Welcome back everybody, Kathy Arbor here and welcome to my studio. And today we're gonna get a little mess messy with some um, jelly plate work. If you haven't done it, jelly plating before, I strongly recommend it for de-stressing. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And who doesn't want a little bit of fun and messiness to de-stress, it's fun. So if you're in uh, chat, feel free to say hi and let me know what's going on. Just uh, fixing my Seeing how my lighting is looking. All right, it looks pretty good, I guess. Get my chat up. Sorry about this. All right, so um, I use a lot of jelly plates in my journals. When I'm doing drawing, I draw on them. Um, they're nice for uh, cutting up and collaging, or even applying into a painting that you're doing, say s clothing. Um, if you like a, the, the pattern on it, they're great for clothing, or just using strictly for a painting. So paper piecing, that type of thing. Um, before we get to that, I got some happy mail. That was funny <laughs> from Zandra. Um, and believe it or not, Sandra, I do not have this one. <laughs> so awesome. And I don't have one of these either. And I don't have this. So great picks. And this was uh, gifted to me by Lena. It was funny because on one of uh, Zandra's giveaways, I gave Lena's name. And then <laughs> it was right after that, Lena gave my name. So we kind of gifted each other. <laughs> so thank you very much. I might use the stencil today. Hey, Lena. Hey, Riri. Yeah, I got my stencil. And uh, awesome. I don't have any of these, which is a miracle. <laughs> it was meant to be. So let's see. Last Tuesday, we did this cute watermelon uh, watercolor drawing. And a few people have done it and posted on Instagram. Uh, Lena is one. Lena, you did a fantastic job. I love yours. And thanks so much for posting. It was great. Hey, Pam. <laughs> yeah. So this is just scrapbook or not scrapbook, uh, sketching paper. And you can use your watercolor on it. I use watercolor and crayons or, or uh, color pencils and marker, paint pens sometimes if I want a real bright light. I was watching Colleen, saw you were coming on, so I switched. Oh, thanks, Pam. Glad to have you here. So we're going to be playing. We're going to get messy today. Uh, we're going to do some more jelly plating. Um, oh, I should show you this. I forgot. This is what we did last Thursday. Uh, this is a acrylic painting, and there is a downloadable for, for all members on all levels in Patreon and YouTube. And there's a little link down below here. It says join and it'll give you all the information. Um, if you're interested in the Patreon, don't do don't join right now because if you join today you will be billed again on the first. They always do their billing on the first of the month. So um, the first week, first couple weeks, feel free to join if you prefer Patreon. 
and it's all the same um, content as the, the uh, YouTube membership. It's just that some people prefer Patreon over uh, YouTube, so, and some um, people can't seem to uh, see the stuff on the on their phone um, like the join button and stuff so uh, there are also links down below in the description if if uh, you want to use those so as you can see I haven't cleaned my plates from last time and I want to do some more jelly plate of botanicals I love doing these and since I don't have any way of doing them in the winter why well I guess I could go and get greenery from a florist but uh I like to do a bunch of them in the summer and spring and this time I just have a few I didn't get a whole lot I got some um birch and I got some weeds these are weeds. I don't know. I know. Not sure what they're called. And uh, some black lace elderberry. And that's what we'll be using today. And I got a few. Wait a minute. I did get a few spent flowers. So we'll just take off the seed pods. I don't want the seed pods because that'll just give me a whole bunch of grief. <laughs> I don't think I have any with flowers on it. Let's see. Nope, they're all seeds. Yeah. Okay. So we can play with those. And I have some tissue paper because Debbie Epps told me about using tissue paper. So I thought I'd try that too. And I have acrylic paint and I also have um, What else was I going to, there was something else I was going to use. Oh, spray paint, possibly. Hey, Zandra. Okay. Now, um, the spray paint I got is a non-toxic spray paint, supposedly. I do have windows open, so if you do use them, this is the one I got here. Now, it's got a thing, and I don't know, that's not a good sign. It's an irritant. Why do they say it? Hmm, I'll have to see. But, well, we're going to start off with just acrylic paint first. Colors out. I have some here. All right. Now, if you want. To keep your um, paints from getting muddy or just too busy, I would suggest sticking with analogous colors. So analogous means on one side of the color wheel. So they're either warm or they're cool. They're right beside each other. That way you don't run into problems as far as it going uh, muddy color. Hey Jasper, Zandra, good to see you. Did you have a fantastic time at the retreat, Zandra? Was it hot? You probably didn't go anywhere if it was hot, I would assume.
Hey, Dot. So I'm going to do a bunch of different ways of, I might even add some stenciling into this too. So um, we're going to start off probably with dark colors. So let's start off with a sap green. This is um, a fairly dark color. And I'm using these because they are starting to go. Normally, I would be using craft paint or um, more inexpensive, uh, like Liquitex. Being that these are, are starting to turn, there's no point in uh, not using them for something. I'm going to swirling because I don't like the big dots on my plate when I do this. So, and I have paper at the ready. Put these over there. And I'm just going to take some of these weeds. That's what they are, they're weeds. So go in the ditch and find your weeds. And I just place them down and then you can take copy paper or um, this is just deli paper. It's good because it's fairly strong and you can get all the paint up from all around the leaves and the stems and you can kind of see through it so that helps too and you just want to really try and pick pick up as much as you can sometimes uh, depending on how much paint you put down you, you might have to do it twice try not to put too much down though because you get a better print if it's not too thick but you can't have too little either you kind of have to play with it and you can use these they're great to redo so i like uh playing so there's still quite a bit on there so i'm going to put another one down and there's a uh, right side and a wrong side one side's a little smoother than the other put it on the side that's the roughest Dorothy, they had a gift table and I gave Joan some bear things. Oh, awesome. Lucky you. Daughter, you're going to get some bear stuff? I love your bears. I think they're so cute. Okay, so that got a lot of it off. See, you got two prints now. And then I could take this off. Now, I like to dry mine and then um, pick up either with uh, acrylic medium. Oh, no. Jeez. Sorry. I was going to update something. So you can use a cool air on your um, hair dryer.
playing with some weeds, Mary. <laughs> I love doing this. It's a lot of fun. All right, so I'm going to put, I got some quinacridone nickel azole gold here. And this time I'm going to put this on this plate. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of yellow too, because I want it just a little bit yeah, more yellow. And this is where I'm going to roll my paint so it's a smooth consistency. And that way I don't get any lumps on here, like polka dots. Because if you have, if I had to do this on here, it would probably remove some of these um, lines. And this way I can just put some nice even And you could also do um, the same thing if you were wanting to do um, two different colors also. Now let's try the, I'm going to try the um, tissue. This is just plain tissue. And it's too small. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. And I'm going to put um, probably the same thing on here. Maybe as we'll use this again. This is just a weed. And I'm going to use the same thing, but on the back. So I use my, my plates together. This way I don't um, waste as much paint and I don't have to roll off on papers and that type of thing because I'm rolling off on one of the plates. Just rub. Okay, so we got one there. And I could, no, maybe I'll, no, I'm going to take some more off. I want it fairly clean. And we'll let that dry on its own. Let's take this up. Oh, yes. There we go. See, you can see all of the nice little marks. Let's just put that there for now. And there's still a little bit left. So if I had the green any thicker, there would have been a whole lot more left when I pulled it. Um, let's see what other color. So I got the green and yellow. Uh, quinacridone um, nickel as a gold. So I'll stick with um, these colors for now. And then the last uh, pull, maybe I'll add a little bit of um, a dark blue. Okay, this time I'm just going to use this color. It doesn't have to be a lot on your plate with the um, artist grade. A lot of times um, it looks like there's not much there, but there really is. This time I'm going to use some stems. Birch, something with a lot of veining works the best. 
So you want something that has some really deep veins in it. And I overlap because sometimes they really look cool when you overlap stuff because it will pick it up. So okay, I'm going to use one that's fairly dry. This one should do. So I'm going to pick it up with this one. Okay, I will be out gathering weeds. <laughs> it's fun. You really enjoy it. <laughs> That's why in my back garden, I always have a little patch of weeds there I leave. I'm sure the neighbors behind me think I'm crazy, but... <laughs> Take a peek before you lift the whole thing up completely. See if there's anything you missed. Okay, so see, I like doing them on top of each other. You get some really cool abstract looks. Okay. Now. Because this is a gold, it's going to be a little bit um, lighter. So you want your pickup either to be matte medium or um, a fairly light color. So I could go with a green gold with this. It'll change the... Um, let's see if this is... I'm going to give this a little shot of air to make sure it's good and, and um, dry. chance it. I'm just going to put it on the bottom here. I don't have any more um, jelly plates. I only have two. <laughs> so there might be a polka dot in here. And I'll put a really thin layer like that and take my paper again it's just tissue I'm gonna let this one dry Pick up this one with a cream color or buff, maybe. Let me think. Mm. Because these are see-through colors, you have to think about when you put two colors together, it's going to make another color. So anything across from the color wheel, you know, like um, blue and green or purple and orange, they will cancel each other out and you'll get a grays or muddy colors. Okay. 
Okay, this one didn't come out very well. See, some some of you win, some of you don't. Got a little bit. It was just a bit too light. So to get this one, I'm gonna put that medium. I have some matte medium here. And So not all the time they work. You kind of play with with this. Don't get discouraged if if they don't turn out. Just keep playing. I don't mind wrinkles either. Sometimes they give more texture to your plate. So this one, while that's drying, I'm gonna do blue. Now you could start off too with a color, just plain old color. Or you could use newspapers. All right, let's use some more of these. Use the back of this. These are fun to use by adding Posca marks. So kind of like doodling on top of them with your Posca pens. Just make sure you get all around the leaves and the stems. We'll see if you need to get in there, get more paint off. This time I am going to use this to, take to um, get the print so I didn't dry it. Let's take this one up. So it's really nice soft background because this is tissue paper too these can be used on any kind of canvas journal pages whatever hey Shannon it is Shannon isn't it art junkie I'm not good with names. OK, 
Okay, we have fill of blue here. Put some of that on. this on here. And let's put some of these on. Like that. And this on the bottom. Even overlap stuff because it still looks cool. Let's take a new one. This is the roughest side. Sandra, and thanks again for the happy meal. <laughs> All right, and I still have quite a bit. So I'm going to take another one. Maybe let's take a coffee paper. Hopefully, this will get down the right. Lifting some areas. Now this one's kind of bulky because of the bud. See, it's coming through. But you could still use bits and pieces of this. Okay. Take that up. side. Now let's take this one up. Don't leave the tissue paper too long or it'll stick to your plate. There's the blue and the yellow. could put it on this one. But let's wait for that to dry and let's try conacridone one. I'm not going to mix it this time. Uber off of there. It is um, messy. But it's fun. Ooh, I got some green mixed in with it. Off of my brayer. So I'm going to have some circles. Let's do 
collection of these. I guess I'll try another one of these. blue. See, even these are nice to have. I, I like using those ones. Okay. Now we can take, um, let's dry these and then I'll roll another color on top. Oh, are you playing along, Darlene? <laughs> it's addictive. I'll warn you. You'll have a million jelly plate <laughs> papers, but it's fun. All right, so let's put um, some gel medium on. And I'm just, any excess, I'm just putting on this one at the side here. That's what I like to do. And then you don't have to waste paint. I hate wasting paint. All right. And then let's do a paper. That one. The gel medium takes up your print. It's the same thing as putting uh, a paint color down. It just doesn't have the colorant in it. It's the same properties as your paint without color. So if you don't want to use a color, just use gel medium. It saves money too, um, as far as having to buy, say, uh, white or um, buff. If you're just picking it up with white all the time, you may as well just get gel medium. It's a whole lot cheaper. Okay. Take a peek. We got a little bit of the green from the background that was left on there. Love these. You can't go wrong with these. I just love them. This one had a little bit of yellow in the background and green.
Now let's put mm, let me think. What do I want? Actually, let's try what color would be good with that. Hmm. I want something opaque. It's going to be dark. So we could either go dark brown. Um, or we could go white. We want to see, see it on top. So... Let's see. I got some white out. Where did I put my white? You go far. So if you go with a craft paint, so this is just uh, Delta Ceramic Coat. Now you'll see a difference in the consistency too. Um, this tends to beat up a little bit for some odd reason. I don't know why. But you kind of, if you, I like the beating up. Some people don't. So if you're if you're not liking that, then you have to work kind of fast. <laughs> Let's put this one on here for a change. And then we'll put where's that? this one on here like that. And I'll pick it up with this. And this one we'll use this. This is just deli paper, but it's good for picking up because it's fairly strong and it won't rip when you're um, trying to go around the leaves and the stems. You want to get as much of that paint up as possible. And you got to make sure if you're reusing your old prints, make sure they're dry. Because if they're damp, and it won't pick up as much. Okay. Let's see, I don't know how much. I don't think that's going to have as much effect on my paper. But there's a lots of goodness on the back, so I am going to just lay this one down, put it on top. Nope, see it's not not printing. See, and it wasn't a very good uh, print. 
print. So craft paint doesn't print as well. So you got to keep that in mind. It's good for this type of thing if you want to block out, do your blocking first. But see, it doesn't really show much as far as the uh, intricate little lines in the leaves. But that's kind of fun. So let's dry that and we'll see what we can get up from... Uh Right, so that'll be light. Let's see what we got here. Let's, you could put it on this one. Or what else we got here? Let's see what we got already separate some of these mm. well you could put it on here and see what see what happens so I'm just gonna put some gel medium I'm just wiping it off on the plate here. I'm just going to clean this plate. It has a bunch of white on it. Let's see if we can get it up. And then we're going to use this. To see what we can pick up. really neat. If we could go over top of this with a really dark brown, that would be pretty. Yeah, that cleaned. Well, I have one spot. Clean most of the grunge off. That's this little Gonna give this a bit of air to dry the not completely, but a little bit. So we can see. I got most of it. A little bit didn't come up, but most of it did. Kind of busy looking for me, but 
kind of cool. You can still add things on this, though. Okay. Uh, I have some copper. Let's try that. You want as even a, a layer as possible. Okay. And I'm going to throw this back on. And I want to pick up. I do like working with um, artist grade acrylics better than the uh, craft paint. It see it just works better for me for some reason. Not saying you can't use craft paint. It's just uh, I find you have to work with um, paper that's more absorbent. This one might be interesting. It's got a little bit of the paint that was on the leaf transferred onto this. So that's kind of cool. So I might just pick it up with, could go just white. Um, there's no point in using my white up. I'll use matte medium. Let's try this. Oop, wrong, wrong one. Now, because that's, um, I could have picked this up with black too. No, I think I'll do a white. I think I'll do a white. So I need, do I have white? Got um, this one. It's kind of a buff color. Let's see if we get any polka dots. We might. Just 
I'll have to clean the edges. Uh, I'm just using craft paint, not too bad, I like it. But then I'm just using craft paper too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll try, um, I've got some butcher paper here, the non um, waxed one. So I'm gonna try that with some craft paint, and see if it makes a difference. Might. Oh, this is going to be cool. It's very subtle, but it's pretty. It's got a bit of green in it from the leaf. It's got a little shimmer from the um, copper. That's pretty. All right, so let's use, let's try that, some craft paint. I did cut a bunch of, so we can use black green. Trying to stick to the one side of the color wheel. So this is black green. Just gonna put it on here. This one isn't um, lifting, that's funny. Maybe it's different types, I don't know. Okay, let's put this back on. And I'm still gonna lift the background. I'll use just plain copy paper for the background lift. I didn't look for polka dots when you first started brewing. Look like little fish bodies. <laughs> yeah, some people like them. It's all preference, eh? It's like whatever you want in your jelly prints. If you see something, leave it. This is so fun because you can experiment. Now, mind you, you can't ever get the exact same print but see these are nice to use too i like using these you do all kinds of doodles in these white areas just playing basically let's see what happens if I do this <laughs> it's how I work
Okay, so now I'm going to dry this and I'm going to put um, another color on. So I have cactus green and I also have this wisteria. Hmm. Or we could do a gold. Let me think. Green and I'm not sure what color I want. I think maybe gold. I have a saffron here. Hey, Devin. We're experimenting. Sit a little bit longer. I am going to. Do an ombre effect. So do the And then this is butcher paper. And I get this by the roll from U line. Comes in a thousand foot roll. <laughs> but it's worth it because it's a whole lot cheaper than buying copy paper or any of the other papers. <laughs> yeah, you got to get to it before the snow flies again. Let's pull this one, see what it's doing. It came up a bit. See, now this one is interesting because you, ha you have... The background is that. See, and even this side, because it shows through. So you could use either one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nothing would surprise me this year, though. The weather's been so crazy. Yeah, that one came up a lot better. So it must be the paper. Maybe the paint. So there's 
how it turned out. I like the um, grungy look of it. See how you can see your overlaps? So don't worry if things are overlapping. It just adds more to it. Okay, let's do, let's try another one with, well, maybe, let's see, let's do a brown, dark brown. Maybe this one, a little bit on the strong side, which is odd. It's just paint. Hmm. Quick, quick, quick. Let's do some more of these. Put some like that. I don't care if they're overlapping. And we'll throw this back on. And we'll get these. Um, we'll, uh, I'll probably um, get out my um, <laughs> embossing machine someday again, and we'll do some more ink um, plant squishing. <laughs> Those were so cool, using the sprays and the, the leaves and the embossing machine. They, they turned out so cool. I love those. I don't know if anyone else has seen me do that. That's another way of printing. It's really cool. So if you have a bunch of... See, I don't use my ink pads typically the way you're supposed to. Um, I like using them for printing. up. So this one might not be as nice looking, but we'll see. You can see the, the leaf has printed onto the jelly plate also. So there's some green in there. That's kind of cool. Hi, Sophia. See that this printed. See how the leaf reprinted? That's cool. I like this. So a lot of time you can reprint using the same leaves. Don't throw them in the garbage. <laughs> All right, so we'll dry these.
thinking. Could do. Some yellow. Like a sunset, maybe. A little bit of blue. Cream. Hmm, thinking. Violet and lighter. This one soft whatever. Um, freaking blue. Gonna put a couple drops of blue on the top and a couple drops of ivory or what is this one? Buttercream. And then I have some uh, lavender here. And let's try that. Turn off my brayer. Blue on the top. I have some polka dots there. There. And I'm gonna leave it like that for a minute. And this one I'm gonna put I'm gonna put um the matte medium over it. This one I'm gonna put yellow and white or buttermilk, I guess you could say, and blue on the top. Maybe a tad of purple. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, just in between the blue and the... Um, don't put it with yellow because that will give you mud. So when you do the yellow first, clean your brayer after you've done the yellow. Then go into your... This one I'm going to add some probably white on the back of it or no actually matte medium on the back and pick it up with white butcher paper. Oh, 
you know. Let's see what we get. Might be horrid, might not be. I don't know. <laughs> These are all experiments. The, the nice thing about doing these is if you don't like it, just paint over it or re jelly plate it once it's dry. Or use it as um, a start of a painting. You could always put uh, gesso over it. You don't have to throw them out because you don't like them. Okay, have a good lunch. Oh, there's that one. So I'm still getting this. It's kind of cool. So it's been taking up leftovers around the edges. Not sure what. Oh, these are just uh, little circles of whatever that didn't come up. You could just like I have crusty edges here. that one turned out to be very subtle but again see you're getting stuff taken up from the leaf itself that's printing I like that when it prints so let's see what else can we do um, let's do another green This is black green. And I'm going to put this one back on like that. And I guess we'll put this over here for something different and use this Now you could start out with a color already on your paper too. So you could try that. Let's see if we can transfer this onto here. I don't know. It might work. It might not. Let's try it. Just use my roller. Cool. Okay.
I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take, let's do the yellow. So that's saffron yellow. And I'm just going to over my leaves and let's take that up It's really handy, Devin. You'll really enjoy two plates. You don't waste any paint that way. You're not always constantly rolling off on newspaper or whatever. I like it. There's that one very grungy and you have more of a grungy look it's either your plate needs to be cleaned or um, let's see do we want to clean it let's see I'm gonna take these they already have a lot of paint on them so I'm gonna put some of these down. They, they lay fairly flat. I'm going to take this thing <laughs> and I'm going to lay that down like that. And I'm going to take the buttercream. I'm just going to go around the edge of this thing. I'm just experimenting. See what I can do. Might be a complete disaster, but you'll never know unless you try, right? give it a grungier look. Let's put some on the paper here. Okay. Then I'm going to lift it. I'm going to put it over to the side. I'm going to dry it. Just like plan. <laughs>
Okay, and then I'm going to put, I'm going to put a blue on it. Oh, that's purple smoke. Oh, I might do it. I'm going to use purple smoke. <laughs> this might be a real disaster. But it's fun trying things. Is that one dry? Yep. So I can still see through it. So I'm going to dry that again. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. It. Now I'm going to put matte medium down. Good thing I have this recorded. Because if it works out, I want to know what I did. Totally off my rocker here. But who knows? I don't know. I'm just experimenting. All right, so now I'm going to take. Correct. Everything will come up but where the leaves are. And your leaves will be multicolored. Double jelly, double-handed massage. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> All right. That's pretty background. That is uh, that mauve and it's actually really pretty. I like that combination. 
beautiful color combination. That was purple smoke. And I had some saffron. Here's little bits from the gel plate. Now, no, it's not going to register the leaves as much. Might a little bit, but not, a, not what I was thinking. Um, let's try it. Yeah, I love the color. Very pretty color. Um, let's just let's just lift this with the yellow, just for the heck of it. This one, let's do the cactus green. got a little bit of yellow from my roller in there but I think it'll kind of work even if it's just a abstract background it'll be pretty I like the colors we could also um, put a dark um, imprint on top of this if this isn't all that much seen that's pretty see you, you know it, there was more than you thought it's not bad it's not as clear as I would typically get Oh, this one's pretty. I like the colors of this one, too. That's pretty. Hmm. Well. I do like that. That was this purple smoke. Let's try another one with that. I like purple. So let's put on, okay, we have this here. got a lot of white on it. Let's throw this on. 
Okay. So I'm using already painted leaves. Have a wonderful day, Dar. Take up a little bit more with this. Lots of awesome goodness there. All right, and this one. Let's, I guess we'll do this too. So we're going to let that one dry. Reuse this. Like that. And we'll just use the back of this one. in between the leaves as possible. getting stuff off the leaves they're sit they're really thick with paint so they release goodness this cactus green up 
here. And maybe down there. And a little bit of this. and some cream. And I'm just going to let it mix the way it mixes. Whatever it will be, will be. Hey, Lisa. Let's see. This one's a little grainy. Not bad. Never know. They're not they're not as clear, I find, with the uh craft paint as far as the um, defining lines. Uh, so if we put on, let's do a, let's do sap green for the line work and then we'll lift it with a craft paint let's try that Still have this, so I'm gonna use this. I'll just put this one right here. Use that to lift the background. Devin, have a fantastic day. Just peeking to see 
need to rub out any more between the leaves. Sometimes I do a little bit more rubbing, especially around the stem. Yeah, see, there's a lot more def um, definition with the the uh, art paint, the artist quality paint. So let's try that. dusty mauve on. I'm going to put it on this plate just so that I have a smoother application. it up with this one here. darker but it's kind of cool too see, you can see the detail a little more uh, let's pick this one up with let's try a yellow artist grade on here just to see what we get. I'm going to mix a bit of opaque buttermilk with it. Get it a little bit more modeled looking. Okay. I'm going to 
put and put this down there. on. So I'm re-jelly plating over some of these that weren't that great. much of the you see the paint came off of the leaf and reprinted that's what I like <laughs> that's cool Here's a yellow, a little bit of purple, some cream. Oop, the dogs are up. Let's see, what do I have left here? Just do a few more and then I'll have to go. These guys will be crazy. Close to their food time. They know it. They have their little clocks. Just put it over the top of this one. See what we get. I have a piece of cardboard blocking the entrance to down here. You're trying to escape. No, they seem to know how long I, I'm supposed to <laughs> scream. See there, look at that. That's kind of cool. Blue and, or um, purple and. Green there. That's neat. Let's put this down on here. See if we can get it to transfer. Let's see, that turned out really nice. And paper. that to transfer a little bit. Yeah, maybe. And then dry it. 
destroy it. Let's do this cactus green. I like this color. It's pretty. Uh, with just a piece of paper. This is just coffee paper. Just gonna put on a little bit of This one. Remember, make sure your papers are dry, so it's not going to lift properly. Hmm. It's pretty. Kind of monochromatic. It's pretty though. This was just on white back, but it's pretty. Picked up everything else that was on the plate. So very, very soft looking, but it's pretty. Sometimes you don't need to put a pull color because you'll take up all the plate leftovers. All right. So let's see what we've done. Got quite a few. So these, of course, you can reuse these. Or you could just um, doodle in them, the openings. I like using these. And when you do the back of them, you kind of get um, a softer showing through. I guess both sides are both different. It's pretty. Very subtle. So if you aren't satisfied with them all, you could always add to these guys. You don't have to, you could add, say they're too light for you, just add a darker um, outline print. 
Use the box. Or you could do stenciling over top too. Add more layers. I could add white to this if I wanted to. Be pretty. Or use Posca, your Posca pens. Do some outlining or doodling on them. I don't know anything on the back. It's got the uh, copper, a little bit on the shiny side. just tissue. Tissue is really nice to use. I was surprised that it pulled up so easily. Hey, Lena. They're fun to do. Brown and gray, that's pretty. There's a difference. There's more detail with the um, artist grade, I find. But you can use the other ones. So that's it for now. And I'll get a couple more here or there tissue but yeah they're fun so I guess I better get these uh, crazy dogs outside and fed and clean these up too so I hope you have a fantastic uh, weekend um, for any of the members on Patreon or uh, YouTube. There will be two live streams, for, well, one for each group, um, but it will be recorded. So if you're not able to attend, that's fine. And that will be tomorrow. I will put a link to the a video for um, blooming artist and the budding artist when I will be going live tomorrow probably will be for the uh, budding artist and then Saturday I will do the blooming artist so um, make sure you check your community pages or on uh, if you're on patreon I will link it there. All right. Thanks, Lena. Yeah, I like the bright ones too. But they all have their purpose, right? Something to experiment with. <laughs> all right, I'll let you guys go and you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see the members tomorrow and Friday, or tomorrow and Saturday. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone, and see you on uh, Tuesday. Bye for now.